If you were watching PTL last Wednesday, you saw Rainya, who made us some sauces for our Easter ham. Today, she's back making a dish for her Easter, Greek Orthodox Easter, which is this Sunday. It is. It is. Hi, Rainya. Welcome back. Hi, Mikey. What How are you, you making doing? for us today? Spanakopita. Ooh. Oh. You ever have that? Oh, yes. Yes. I, and I'm I, can, I can't pronounce it. Spanakopita. Spanakopita. Yeah, a lot of vowels. Yes. Yes. Okay, <laughs> so right here, what I have is frozen chopped spinach that I've defrosted mm -hmm. and I squeezed out as much liquid as humanly possible just by putting it in a kitchen towel and then wringing it dry. Okay. Okay. Easy. And okay. then I sauteed some uh, scallions and some parsley and I put those in here and they really need to be sauteed in some butter before you add them to this mixture okay mm -hmm. and then break that up put all that in there it's looking healthy so far yeah. healthy. <laughs> well, it's about to not get healthy <laughs> um, here we've got um, eight beaten eggs okay so not very healthy but that's okay it's Easter and I'm going to add in feta cheese so there's some salt going on there so I'm going to mm -hmm. not put salt in the recipe okay. And I like to add a little gorgonzola cheese. That's just me. I happen to love the flavor. Mm -hmm. And I have some fresh, and this is important, chopped dill. Oh, I love dill. Not the dry. Not dill, or fresh. not dry, but yes. fresh. I can fresh. smell it. I can smell it. Oh, All right. That's, it that's yeah. the other important thing. And I said no salt, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to do pepper. Yes. Okay, yes. All right, so that takes care of that. Now, phyllo. Um, you buy that frozen or you can find it fresh in some places. I prefer the fresh and the reason I do is because when phyllo's never been frozen, it has a tendency to be more forgiving and easier to work with. Oh, oh. okay, so that's, that's good why, to know. That's why I like it. I thought more forgiving on the waistline. No, no way. Not no that way. type of forgiving. <laughs> Clarified butter. You okay. simply melt the butter. I melt it in the microwave. I get it good and cold. Um, and then once uh, you get it good and cold, you poke down to the bottom and you find all the milk fat that um, so don't solidify, dump it, and look how clear that butter is. Yeah. That's good. You just now, drink it. You, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I probably could. That's a sickening thought, but I actually could. So you're just painting it on the dough, and it's such mm -hmm. a, the, so thin, the right. dough. Right, the yeah. dough is so thin, but you need a nice, wide paintbrush. And this literally is a paintbrush from the, from the paint store with natural bristles. And it's a good two and a half inches or two inches. It just covers the surface a lot easier. So the butter is what makes it crispy and golden. That's right. Mm -hmm. And then you want to flip it this way. Now I'm making rolls today, but my recipe that I'm sharing with everyone on the website mm -hmm. also tells you how to make it in a pan. Oh, okay. okay. So Good. you can go both ways. Now you take some of the spinach mixture, and you notice I buttered the second side too, mm -hmm. okay? Sure. Take some of the spinach mixture, and you don't want to over, over, over do it. Put it at the bottom. Roll it up once this way and tuck in your sides. And try to tuck them in so that they'll meet in the middle. Roll and tuck. Yeah, roll, roll and, and tuck. tuck. <laughs> and then just There's roll, a little artistry roll. to this, right? <laughs> and yeah. then roll. Now, the most important oh. thing is when you're all done to butter the all outside. of the tops. Mm. Gotcha. Very, very, very important. Because if you don't do that, what happens is the phyllo dries out. If you'll notice here, I have this plastic bag. All I do is cover my phyllo with a plastic oh, bag to moist. prevent it mm -hmm. from drying out. Mm -hmm. That's all I do. I cannot tell you how important it is. Because if it dries out, oh, you can't work with oh, it. Yeah, you oh, can't roll, roll it. It's like little parchment. Okay. And it yeah. just flakes in the freezer. Oh. In the freezer. Stick them in the freezer and pull them out as you need them. That's why I like the rolls. Bake them from a frozen state. Okay. 350, 375 degrees for about 20, 25 minutes. What do they look like? Yeah. What, what is do the, they what look the like? Final right results. <laughs> <laughs> you know Where are they? Where them. are they? <laughs> would you like to know? <laughs> we would love it. She's building up the hey, suspense. She is. <laughs> and Raina, so you're making this for Sunday? Are you just going to yeah. be at your house yeah. on there Sunday? There would be a mutiny if I didn't it, have okay. that. Okay, it's, it's demanded now. Oh, oh, look at look these. At those. Would you like <gasps> oh, to try? Now, yes, is, this, is this like an appetizer or well, is this, I is this the this out, main I put course. this out with my dinner. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Here, hang on. I'm so excited about this. This is. Now, oh. Now, here, you need a knife. Need, knife. So we yeah. need a knife to I cut was, it I was just trying to dive right in here. And if you could show, <laughs> while Mikey's watch, they're hot. See mm -hmm. all the nice spinach filling? I don't know if Brian Evie can get that. And all the flakiness. Yeah. yeah. All right, watch. They're okay, hot, I'll baby girl. Okay, take a one quick bite. 
Mm. <sighs> oh. So good. Rainy, you've done it again. Mm, thank you. Happy Easter to all you Greek and other Orthodox folks out there. In Happy Pittsburgh. Easter. Happy Easter. And for a copy of today's period. recipes, go to pittsburghtodaylive.com, where you will also find a link to Rainy's catering.